Hello and welcome to Edgu Sathi's lecture on dices. Now dices is a relatively easy topic and there are just around 3-4 concepts which you need to understand before you can easily solve any question on dice. So let's get going. What is a dice? A rolling cube with 6 symbol faces is called a dice. Now we look at the structure of the dice here. This is a structure of a normal dice. The kind we use while playing a game of Ludo or Snakes and Ladders. So this is a normal dice. One thing which you need to know is that in a dice, every face, like 6 is a face, this 5 is a face. Every face will have 4 adjacent faces and 1 opposite face. Okay, so in a normal dice, the face 6 is opposite to face 1, face 5 here is opposite to face 2 and face 4 is opposite to face 3. So if 6 is opposite to face 1, it means that the other faces 5, 4, 2 and 3 are adjacent to face 6. So every face will have 4 adjacent faces and 1 opposite face. But generally in questions, you are not given a normal dice, which means that they can interchange these numbers. They want you to think through that if let's say I have a 6 here and a 5 here, then what face will be opposite to 6. So we'll do a few tips and tricks on solving such questions. Let's move to the first concept. So the concept one here is that two opposite faces cannot be adjacent to each other. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Two different positions of a dice are shown below. Judging by the diagrams, which number will appear on the face opposite to 4. So now going by this logic that two opposite faces cannot be adjacent to each other, I see here that 6 is adjacent to 4. Similarly, this face 2 is also adjacent to 4. So obviously 6 and 2 cannot be opposite to 4. We look here in the second position I have 5 which is adjacent to 4 and then I have 3 which is also adjacent to 4. So also 5 and 3 cannot be opposite to 4. So which is a left out face? The face with the number 1. So the number 1 face is opposite to the face number 4. So I repeat, from figure 1 we see that faces 6 and 2 are adjacent to the face 4. From figure 2 we see that the faces 3 and 5 are adjacent to face 4. See the only left out face is phase 1. Let's move on to the second concept. If two angles of a dice are shown, these are the two angles. I have one angle this and another angle this. And you see two common faces in any two positions then the left out faces are opposite to each other. Now if you look here, the question is two different positions of a dice are shown below judging by the two diagrams which faces are opposite to each other. If you look carefully, I have a face 5 here and I have a face 5 here. Then I have a face 3 here and I have a face 3 here. Now the position of face 3 has changed from this face to this other face but this does not matter as in I need to have two common faces in any two positions so going by this concept 2 5 and 3 are there in both these positions so face 2 is opposite to face 4 in this given dice so this is the second concept to reiterate if you have two faces occurring common in two positions of a dice then the remaining faces are opposite to each other. Let's move on to the next concept. If in two positions of the dice you see that the position of any face has not changed then each of the opposite faces are in the same position. What do you mean by this? Let's take these two dice positions which are given to us. What we see here is that the position of this phase 3 has not changed. Phase 3 is towards your, towards the screen. Okay. So 
as we see that the face 3 is towards the screen hence the face opposite to face 5 this face 5 will be the face in the same position in the corresponding figure that is the face 6 so in this dais since 3 occurs at the same position so face 5 is opposite to face 6 and face 2 is opposite to face 4 similarly I reiterate look at this line face 2 is opposite to the face 4 also since the faces 2, 5, 4 and 6 are adjacent to face 3 the face opposite to face 3 is face 1 so I have 3 opposite to 1 5 opposite to 6 and 2 opposite to 4 it's a very important concept let's move on to the fourth concept this is somewhat similar to the first one we did if in two positions of a dice you see a common face but not at the same position then the face opposite to the common face will be the one not shown in the two positions also the remaining faces will not be opposite to each other necessarily so let's see this example I have face 1 here and face 1 here again but this face does not occur at the same position if face 1 was here then I could have said that face 5 is opposite to face 2 but 1 is not here 1 has changed its position now what I see is that this face 5 here is adjacent to face 1 and face 3 here is also adjacent to face 1 so 3 and 5 cannot be opposite to face 1 going by the first concept that an opposite face cannot be adjacent to a face now in this figure I have face 4 which is adjacent to face 1 and I have face 2 which is also adjacent to face 1 so both these faces also cannot be opposite to face 1 so what is the left out face face number 6 so the answer is the opposite face to face number 1 is face number 6 look at the second line again also the remaining faces will not be opposite to each other necessarily so don't confuse that face 5 will be opposite to face 2 here this is not true this is something we did in the previous question when the relative position of the face shown in both the figures does not change which I explained earlier if I had one here I hope this is clear these are the only four concepts you need to know in diocese we'll do two three practice questions and for the rest of the questions you can visit the website and then practice so let's try this first question here find the pair of opposite faces by looking at the four figures so by looking at these four figures I need to tell which face is opposite to which face let's look at the first two figures first I have a 4 here and I have a 4 here I have a 5 here and I have a 5 here so going by the concept that if two faces are common in two angles of a dais the remaining faces are opposite to each other this gives me that face number 2 is opposite to face number 3 so this is the first result let's look at the figure number 3 and figure number 4 now I have 6 here and I have 6 here I have 3 here and I have 3 here so again going by that principle that if two faces appear on two different positions of a cube then the remaining faces are opposite to each other so face number 5 is opposite to face number 1 so the second result I've got is face 5 is opposite to face 1 now I don't need to solve further because the only remaining faces are 6 and 4 which automatically will be opposite to each other so let's look at the second question here find the face opposite to face 6 now I have face 6 occurring here and I have face 6 occurring here the first thing I'll do is let's go with this figure figure number 3 do I have 5 and 2 on any of the other positions of the cube shown here I do not have a 5 and 2 here also I do not have a 5 and 2 and here also I do not have a 5 and 2 so I leave this figure as of now the second position where 6 is shown is this figure number 4 now 
the other faces adjacent to 6 are 3 and 2. This is 3 and this is 2. Now I look at the other figures. Do I have 3 and 2 occurring again at any other position? Here I do not have a 3 and 2. Here again I do not have a 3 and 2. Here I have a 3 and 2. I have a 3 here and a 2 here. So by the principle that if two faces are common in two different positions of a cube, then the remaining faces are opposite to each other. I can easily say that this face number 4 is opposite to face number 6. So my answer is 6 is opposite to face number 4. All you need to do in these questions is apply your mind and keep these four concepts which we have already done to find out the answer. Let's move on to the another practiced question. So question number 3 here says which face should be at the bottom in figure 3. This is the figure 3. Which face should be at the bottom? It means which face is opposite to face number 3. Again, we'll move by the same principle. I have a 3 here and I have the faces adjacent 6 and 5. I look at the other figures if I have a 6 and 5 common. I look at the first figure, yes, I have a 6 and a 5. This makes my life very easy. It means that this phase 4 is opposite to phase number 3. That is all on diocese. Just remember these 4 concepts and you will be through.